Hi everybody, it's Ann Patchett at Parnassus Books. And most of all, we wanna wish you a safe and healthy and happy Thanksgiving in which you stay home and read lots of books. And remember that tomorrow starts our first edition sale. What that means is if you sign on as a new member to the first editions club, to Parnassus Next, or to Sparky's favorite, the Spark Book Club, example here, you will get a gift card either with the six month or the 12 month subscription. So tomorrow is gonna to be a great day to look at our social media for all the details, how to do it right, and you'll have books for the whole year or half a year, that's what you pick. Have a great holiday, thanks. Hello everyone, we have got a very small sack today. We are winding down with the new books for the year. To start us off, we have Barely Functional Adult, It'll All Make Sense Eventually by Meiji Ng. This is a fantastic little collection of comics. She draws herself as this hilarious little blue bean type person, trying to navigate the world and all the difficult things that come from just being a human in it. And of course, adulting. The sequel to Ready Player One, Ready Player Two by Ernest Cline is finally out. This long-awaited sequel picks up right where the first one left off. And a paperback original, uh, Ghostways, Two Journeys in Unquiet Places by Robert, Robert McFarlane, Stanley Donwood, and Dan Richards. It is a collection of some little chapbooks that have come out about all the different kind of haunted and eerie places that they find with beautiful etching illustrations within. And from the creators of the podcast, Stuff You Could Know, comes the book, Stuff You Should Know. An incomplete compendium of mostly interesting things, Josh Clark and Chuck Bryant, um, you know them as the hosts of the podcast. It is full of interesting information, like Murphy beds. What are they? How do they come to exist? And donuts. How do you spell it? What is the history of it? Read to find out. And finally, a novel. Uh, Zane Jukdar, The 30 Names of Night. This is the story of multi-generational uh, people in a Syrian-American family. Um, in the modern day story, we have a trans boy finding himself. It is a fantastic story about history, family, and finding a home in the world. And now we have Kids in YA with Rayan. Hi everybody, I have a couple of books to show you today. For fans of Nathan Hale's Hazardous Tales, the new book is Blades of Freedom. This is the true story of the Haitian Revolution, the largest uprising of enslaved people in history. We have Elevator Bird by Sarah Williamson. This is about a bird who works in a hotel. He's making people happy all day long and all he wants is a room with a view. So his friends at the hotel get together to give him his wish in this quirky friendship novel. Also out today is Counting Creatures by the author of Room on the Broom, Julia Donaldson, illustrated by Sharon King Chair. It's a lift the flap book about counting creatures that I hope you'll take a look at online. I also wanted to show you one of our holiday gift bundles. You can find all of these on the Parnassus Holiday Gift Guide. We have them for kids and adults. And this is our unicorn bundle for any unicorn lovers. It comes with a unicorn journal, a graphic novel, and a box set about the history of unicorns. You can find something for everyone on your list on the Holiday Gift Guide. Thanks so much for listening and don't forget to shop local.